here I am in my winter gear, my nice new jumper that Tiny bought me. Um, it's cold here. It's not as cold as it was actually. Apparently in England, while I was away, it was like minus nine or something. So since I've been back, I've been doing nothing but job hunting. Um, you've probably seen that I haven't done any videos apart from the ones that I've clipped off when we were when we were away. Um, the reason being is every waking minute I'm on the internet searching for jobs. Um, the major rush is that I I've got I'm doing my masters in September. So it's about eight and a half months away. And I've got to save up. I've got no money, obviously, because we've just come back from travelling. So I have to save up about five thousand um, pounds. So I need a job doing anything, and it's so hard to find anything. If you're searching for a job in England, good luck to you. It's bloody impossible. Although better luck to me, hopefully, because I've gone quicker than you. So as you can tell, um, I'm also pretty tanned at the minute for me, which is amazing. I'm not the same colour as the wall for once. Um, that has taken two months to build. Um, I didn't burn once, apart from on one occasion where Tanya applied my sun cream. I've been wearing like Factor 50 because, um, like my sister, like Sam from Pixie Wood, um, we both burn. Like, I, I love the shade. If I'm out in the sun, then I, I'm like Gollum. Like, so um, I've been wearing loads of sun cream and I avoided the uh, sunburn and <laughs> actually a suntan. One day in Australia, probably the hottest day we were there as well. Tanya and I went for a walk from um, Bronte, I don't know if you know, uh, from Bronte, then past Tamarama and then to Bondi, um, so it's like three beaches, and like a, like a sort of famous beach walk you do. Um, it doesn't take too long but we kind of stopped on each beach and um, I, I let Tanya do my sun cream because she wanted to do it for me for some reason. Um, and I thought at the time, because I wasn't really paying much attention, I thought at the time it didn't feel like a very thorough job. Um, and obviously you don't know you're burning until you burn. And by the time we got back to where we were staying with um, Tanya's cousin, I took my t took my t-shirt off because I put it back on by then. Took it off after the shower, and I was covered like red all over like a lobster. Um, so for like three days after, I was walking like that, and I refused to go out in the sun. Um, so that's the one time I got burned, and it's entirely Tanya's fault. Um, it's really dangerous over there, the sun. Apparently, it's really high UV. Um, the I'm amazed at how well the Australians do. So you can tell who doesn't look after themselves, but it's a major thing over there where because <coughs> the sun's so strong, everyone wears like sun cream. You can tell who does because they're shiny, because sun cream reflects the light and you can see them just glowing. And you can tell who doesn't because they look like leather. They're like, their like, skin's really loose, like that. And it's just really brown and crispy. Um, so, I mean, you can't really win, but you're in Australia, aren't you? Right, you were all going to hate me for saying this. Um, you may well unsubscribe and then blow up your computer and, and burn any sort of memory of me you have because um, obviously I've been away for so long and had to such an amazing time and now I'm about to complain. Um, my big new thing that I've learned whilst travelling is that I don't like sand. Uh, I, know I went on a holiday where I travelled around the beaches um, but me and Sam don't agree. Tanya Love, I don't know if I love Sam, but she just loves sort of the beach, which I do too. But when I go to the beach, I have to wear a lot of sun cream to stay unburned, to stay normal. Um, but it's sort of like a double-ended sword. If I don't wear sun cream, I, I crisp. And if I do wear sun cream, I'm coated in sand. My main bugaboo area is my belly button. I mean, I, I think you should probably know, I think I did a video on it before. I've got a real phobia of belly buttons. I can't touch my own belly button, I can't look at it, I can't touch anyone else's. It just made me, just creep me out. At one time we went to, it wasn't so bad actually in Thailand because the sound was a lot softer. Um, we went to Bondi Beach in the first couple of weeks when we were in Sydney and I didn't know we were going there, we just had to go for a walk and end up there. So I wasn't wearing swimming shorts. We got on the beach, tiny camped down, we were out of towel, started sunbathing like that in the sand. I, I lay down next to her, I looked down at my stomach, and I had a belly button full of sand. And I couldn't wash it off, obviously, because I, I was in my shorts, so I couldn't go in the sea. So I just got up, didn't even tell her it, and I walked off along sort of the beach just to get a smoothie and just, just wander until it was time for, to go home so I could have a shower and keep my belly button out. Um, from then on, I sort of tried not to lay down or sit down on the sand. I was constantly walking um, or in the sea because I just can't have belly butter, uh, sand and belly butter. I don't know what's worse. 
the worst obviously would be Burn and Sandy Belly Button, but out of the two, I couldn't choose. Um, otherwise, I think I enjoyed everything, apart from actually um, cockroaches climbing over your head. Um, we went to, from, we were basically time now really snobby, we decided to fly a lot of places rather than take the transport because it's a lot quicker and you save yourself a day, it doesn't cost a great deal more, so you save yourself a day's worth of travel for not a great deal more money. One time, however, we decided to get the um, train, sleeper train, from Bangkok up to Chiang Mai, um, which is, it took 16 hours. The minute we got on the train, we knew we'd made the wrong decision, because um, we walked on, and about six cockroaches just scurried away from you, um, and the way it works is sort of like seating, and then the seating sort of comes out, and you've got like bug beds. Um, John and Lloyd were with us as well, and they loved it because they got drunk. Um, just took some alcohol with them and just got drunk. They did, however, buy them food from the train. And obviously, if there's cockroaches where you're sitting, there's going to be loads in the uh, in the kitchen. So, um, anyway, once you get the bunk beds out, um, we laid there, and um, Tiny didn't want to be in one on her own. Bear in mind, these things were only about five and a half foot each, and I'm six foot two, so it was a bit of a squeeze just for one of me. And then Tiny wanted to share. Um, because she was too scared to be in the cockroach infested bed on her own. So I had to lay there and stay awake all night with cockroaches climbing off the top bunk <laughs> just in front of you. That was hideous as well. But otherwise, pretty much every other experience was great. Also, I've joined a gym. Obviously because I was at the gym all the time before I went away and I was in quite good shape, I thought. Um, and then obviously you get like two and a half months down the line and I weighed the same, which is happy about, because usually I lose weight but I didn't look the same, um, I'd lost a lot of definition and things. And when I got to Australia, I still thought, oh, I, you know, I've lost it a bit, but I'm in fairly good shape. Everyone in Australia is huge, it's ridiculous. The girls are really fit, like, um, you know, big bodies and, and they run and they exercise, and the men are all just like gorillas, and I felt so inadequate. Oh, there's me all travelling in like a dirty old vest and a pair of shorts, and I just looked grubby and I hadn't shaved for a while, and I was just like, just walking along Sydney, like a state, and all these men like, hi, I'm really buff, what do you think of these? And the girls are sort of running along like that. And uh, yeah, so I've got a lot of work to do. Um, I went actually the day we got back, um, which was a mistake, because um, I had about 40 hours without sleep and then decided to go to the gym. I felt fine to start with. 20 minutes in, I almost vomited. I had to go to the toilet with my left head between my legs and um, go home and to sleep because this wasn't working. Um, that was a mistake, but I still went back the next day. Um, wasn't sick that time, so things around about. I ache a lot all over actually, so that's a good thing. Uh, I have to keep I'll keep you posted on, on how I do, see if I put any weight on or anything. Well thank you for watching. Um, I know I look tired and I feel really tired. Um, but hopefully you'll be able to see the effects of the jet lag wear off as time goes on because I'm gonna be in a few more videos. Um, if you have any ideas for jobs I can do um, to sort of earn a bit of money whilst I'm saving my course, please, please write them down. Um, because at the minute, I think I might be going to university in rags and sort of sneaking in because um, I won't actually officially be there. Thanks for watching.